Well, you've been a volunteer in the community for many years. What is your motivation for such service? Well, I've always been much interested in the community. So when I first came back to Keene, I got involved early on. And that was something that you did because you, uh, you had models for that, or is it something that you came up with yourself? Yes, my family had always been very active in various organizations. And I started first with the Red Cross and just developed from that point on. I think it's important that I, I give my time to organizations that give so much back to the community. What role do you think that volunteering plays in the health of our community? Well, I think Keene is great because there are, is so much interest in volunteering. I know as I went through the years, <clears throat> I never had any trouble. Anybody I asked was always ready and willing to, to lend a helping hand. What has volunteering meant to you personally? I enjoy working with people and, and seeing people, meeting people. It's been a, right from the beginning, of way back in my school days, I've, I've always enjoyed doing things of, in the social service work. And I feel that it, it's important to be working with and for, for the community. What other significant things have you done in the community or are you doing now, volunteer-wise? Well, now I'm volunteering here as well as Madadnock Family Services. Uh, I've volunteered for some 50 years at the Red Cross and I have worked with the Wood at Home, and Cancer, and many other of, of the organizations, Home Health, and uh, Cedar Crest, uh, many organizations that I think are important to the community that I've been very happy to spend time working with and for them. Well, for the last 30 years here at Cheshire Medical, I've been volunteering probably 38 to 40 hours a week. That would be the equivalent of a full-time job. Well, I take it as such. I enjoy it so much. With that kind of commitment, sometimes it might be hard, though, to get up on a cold morning and get into here. What, what really keeps you going or, or makes you make that commitment? Yeah, I think it's because I enjoy so much what I'm doing. And the staff here work so hard and work so well together that I feel it's important to be part of it. But if you had to tell a young person, for instance, your granddaughter, about volunteering, and maybe it would be something that she would consider what would you tell her? Well, that's an interesting question because my grandson was coming up for the few days at Christmas time and he called ahead to find out if I knew of any place he could volunteer on his school vacation uh, here in Keene. And I was quite impressed with that. Um, I don't think I would have to say a whole lot to my granddaughter about volunteering because now she's in graduate school but she's still volunteering in the, in the community of Rock Hill, South Carolina and she works with a day camp during the summer. She works with uh, Little League Baseball and she does a lot with the uh, Chamber of Commerce helping people in, in, even while she's in school. Well, I'd just like to say that 
I think what you do is both commendable and inspirational. And I've personally benefited uh, from your volunteering and, and I know many, many others have as well. So I want to thank you very much. Well, I thank you. Uh, Still going strong. You bet. <laughs>